Jin fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Big punch lands. Ooh. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. A oh, little single collar tie there. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Lee gets hit with a kick. Leg kick. Three minutes in our opening round. Just missed with the left there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Big leg kick lands. Great punch landed with so much power. And he landed the right hand there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just unable to quite find that range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big off the first land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lands the right hand. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg. Oh! Huge right hand! All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. He Bottom needs fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Lee's right back to the full mount. 
left. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Both fighters get up now. Blocks the shot. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Oh! It's in there deep. There you go. What a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Wow. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Check. And this might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good stick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Whoa! Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you fight. you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? This big liver kick lands under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Right hand upstairs. Lee's nose is cut, and it is bleeding. Good punch. Yeah. 
visibly limping here. Ooh, blocks the shot. It's such a fast leg kick. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really's got his opponent on notice here. They go the 15 minute distance. What a fight! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight, we would be 